and inside your home, we are all giving up our data and helping Big Brother. And I almost know nobody in this world who doesn't use technologies from one of these companies. We are on a Zoom call, by the way. So all these companies, amongst many others, are all involved in the so-called stakeholder capitalism that's being implemented. And every time, uh, you know, we are using our devices or not using our devices, if we are on a network connected to the internet, data is being collected on us. So this is not about surveillance. This is about data collection. And it, it's a, you'll, you'll see the difference as we continue the presentation. Uh, here's a picture at night with smart poles and smart street lights. They are being put up all around the world. Uh, the expectation is not the expectation. The reports have ex uh, said that by 2030, 600 million of these street lights will have been installed around the world. Just think about that. They have these bright, oppressive LED lights, which have kind of gotten rid of a natural darkness in our lives. And these are, I'm going to show you what, what these are about to do. But this is being sold as smart cities, which is for your, not only for your convenience, it's good for the environment and for global warming and climate change. And that's how they've been ushering these in. Here's an example of a you know, smart pole with a smart city light. They, have, they will have speakers to give instructions to people. If they don't already in Australia, I think I've seen stuff from Melbourne that already has those. They'll have digital signage. It'll be sold for your convenience. But again, it's about giving instructions to people on how to behave. They're going to have face recognition cameras. They're going to have all sorts of pollution sensors. That's how they're selling it. The top of some of these lights is going to have drone charging stations. Why? Because drones are going to be the new aerial police, uh, you know, al along with other things. And uh, they, they are all going to be wirelessly connected to each other and to the internet. And this is part of the internet of things. And these smart cities are about data collection, number one. And it's, we are going to see how they're going to enforce people to behave, number two. So. Here is a diagram on the right. Uh, this I found at, in a paper uh, at the World Economic Forum website, and it was published in 2018. And the digital identity, they say, is a new chapter in the social contract. It's a social contract that nobody signed up for and nobody wants, but they are you know, planting this on us and going to force this on us. And the digital, every, entity, person, device, and thing is going to have a digital identity. And once you sign on to a digital identity, the only way you can access healthcare or your bank finances, ability to travel, ability to access the internet, to go to social platforms or do anything in your life, to buy food, you need a digital identity. And how will that digital identity be authenticated? through your face. So your face is the key to unlocking access to life. And this key is going to be linked to a new type of financial system, which is going to be a combination of carbon credits, your social credits or social score. The, the technically correct term is uh, reputation capital. And then, of course, your status with respect to vaccines and boosters and injections. And if you don't have enough carbon score, if you don't have any enough social score or you haven't taken your latest booster, your face will not be able to unlock your digital identity and therefore you cannot access stuff. You will be locked out of the whole new matrix system. And this is what they call central bank digital currency or CBDCs. Uh, they may have minor variations in different countries, but this is essentially the key to understanding what sort of a new world that is going to be uh, uh, you know, upon us